How do you think that Indonesia fits into um, a world where Donald Trump is now pushing back on the whole notion of free trade? Look, um, I will actually take a somewhat contrarian view, Jeff, and say that we might all be surprised by how useful it is for the world that President Trump is shaking things up to such an extent, right? And look, in some ways, developing countries like us have gotten spoiled by strong American leadership, right? Where we are just told what to do and we just have to follow, right? Perhaps now with America stepping back a bit, maybe, we, maybe it's time for us to grow up. You're a man who's very frustrated with the slow pace of deregulation in Indonesia. Um, you've been on the record as saying that you think trade barriers need to come down more quickly. Is that something at least that perversely Donald Trump might lead to because your country will have to respond more quickly to waning American influence? Uh, if you look at the evidence, all the countries that have opened themselves up, like Vietnam, have seen investment flow in, industry develop, and eventually exports booming, right? Uh, it's very counterintuitive, right? People think that you should close yourself down, uh, but the reality is, again, if you just look at the facts, if you look at the reality, uh, most countries who've opened themselves up uh, experiencing industrial development and that leads to growing ex exports. So yes, uh, I believe that uh, we need to push as hard as possible on, uh, on deregulation and uh, reform. And with reform in mind, um, the tax amnesty appears to have smoked out billions and billions. I think $330 billion was the last number That's right. I saw. That's right. What difference do you think that now makes to FDI? Will other countries look at Indonesia, see what's been done here, and say, you know what, this is a country that's very quickly going from emerging to developed if they can get on top of problems around tax collection and regulation? I think uh, it's been a genuine breakthrough, and the key for us now is to continue building on that, right? Um, perhaps because of my investment making career, uh, I tend to think that uh, we're, we're only as good as our last deal, right? So the market will very quickly ask what's next, and we have to maintain the reform momentum, right? We have to continue rolling out those kinds of very drastic, fundamental, structural reforms to keep the wow factor, if you will. Right? The, the last thing we need right now certainly is for us to sit back uh, and become complacent uh, celebrating the success of the tax amnesty.